Okay, in this video, we're going to solve this homework problem, which is number six, um, using substitution. All right, so we're going to game pen here. Okay, our first step is to isolate a variable from one of these equations. Um, let's see that all the equations have an x, y, z involved, so we don't have to really worry about which variable to choose. Um, so let's try to find an easy one. So I'm liking z, I'm liking x, um, and that's it. It looks like this, this middle equation is what I'm going to use. So let's go ahead and isolate for the x. So I'm going to put use on that one. That way I know that's the equation I try to, to, to use. So let's see here. Um, so we're going to take that equation. Let's see here. Um, x plus 4y plus z equals 0. All right, so I'm going to subtract 4y and z from both sides. Supposed to be z. All right, so we're going to cancel, and I'm going to get x equals negative 4y minus z. Okay, um, <clears throat> so now I'm going to take this expression and substitute it in for x on the equations I didn't use. So that x and this x. So the top equation and the bottom equation. All right, so let's take that top equation. So I'm going to have 3 times, put my expression in, negative 4y minus z. All right, and then I got plus 3y plus 3z. All right, and what this is going to do is going to step down to a 2-by-2 um, two two equation. All right, so combine like terms here. So we get negative 12y minus 3z plus 3y plus 3z equals 18. Okay, I'm going to combine like terms, so negative 3z and plus 3z are going to cancel. Okay, negative 12y and 3y make negative 9y plus um, equals 18. Then I'm going to divide negative 9 both sides. And we're going to get y equal to... Um, negative 2. All right, that's good. So this is one of our new equations. All right, next thing we're going to do is um, do the bottom equation and try to condense that one. So we've got 2 times, again, the expression here, uh, negative 4y minus z. Um, plus 5y minus z equals negative 9. Okay, so uh, I'm distribute that 2 in. So we're going to get negative 8y uh, minus 2z uh, plus 5y minus z equals negative 9. Condense it again. So negative 8y and 5y make negative 3y. Negative 2z minus z makes a negative 3z. And that's going to equal negative 9. All right, so this one here is my other new equation. All right, so combining our two new equations together, this gives us our new system, new 2 by 2 system. All right, so we got y equals negative 2 and negative 3y minus 3z equals negative 9. All right. This is a pretty easy so, uh, system to solve because I'm going to take this negative 2 here, and since it equals a number, I'm going to plug it right into that y right there. So um, we get uh, negative 3 times the negative 2y minus 3z equals negative 9. I'm going to be able to solve z from here. All right, so combining this, negative 3 times negative 2 is a positive 6, minus 3z equals negative 9. All right, let's go ahead and subtract 6 both sides. Let's cancel. Negative 3z equals um, negative 15. So it's going to work just nicely. Divide negative 3 both sides. And we're going to get z equal to um, positive 5. <clears throat> All right, so I got my y, I've got my z, 
all I need to do now is find my X, which is uh, pretty easy because I already have X isolated up here. So in red, I'm going to take this two and Z equal to five. I'm going to take both of those and you're kind of combine them. And I'm going to plug them into the equation right here because X is already isolated. I could use the original equations, but I've already done the work here. So all I gotta do is plug it in into that and I'm good. So let's go ahead and take, take, take that x equals uh, negative four y minus z. All right, plug in those numbers in there. So we're gonna get x equals negative four times minus. All right, so we got negative two there for the y and five for the z. And we're just going to kind of work this out. Negative two times negative two, negative four times negative two is a positive eight. Negative times a positive five is a negative five. And then we're going to get x equal to three. Now that I have all the variables solved for, I can put it in as an ordered triple. So I got three, comma, negative two, uh, comma, five. And we're going to x, y, z. And that is our solution.